It's a story we've been following for more than a year now. The FBI partnered with local law enforcement in Spokane and other areas to conduct this operation because sex traffickers move from city to city. Crime 2's Lindsay Nadrich looked into the arrests and has more on Operation Cross Country. I'm trying to get her to meet me in the lot uh, to get her away from the unit. Operation Cross Country is a national initiative that targets juvenile human trafficking victims. Traffickers move from city to city, which is why it's so important for law enforcement agencies to work together to crack down on the problem. And unfortunately, it's a problem that exists here in Spokane as well. We see it everywhere. It's pervasive and persistent, and it's, it's national and it's even international. We're talking about those most vulnerable in our society, kids, children being exploited. Last year, I covered the arrest of a man named Christopher Morgan for promoting prostitution. The detective who investigated Morgan participated in Operation Cross Country. More than a dozen other people suspected of trafficking were also arrested in Washington last year as a result of the operation. Fast forward to today, investigators continue to make arrests and rescue victims of human trafficking. This month, law enforcement conducted their 11th sting as part of Operation Cross Country and arrested three more people on the west side of our state for sexually exploiting children and adults. The sting operation was conducted in several counties, including Spokane. As part of the sting, 32 women who were being exploited through prostitution were also found. Many of those women were forced into prostitution when they were just children. The FBI says the women were offered in ads online. When you recover that victim, that starts the process of, of getting that person back on track. And so for me and for the men and women who work this violation, again, very gratifying. Uh, because we're having an immediate impact. But what I understand and what the men and women who work this violation understand is that there are many more victims that we need to reach. Operation Cross Country is part of the FBI's Innocence Loss National Initiative, which began in 2003. Since then, the FBI says more than 6,500 children have been rescued from child sex trafficking, and more than 2,500 people have been convicted for trafficking-related crimes. Lindsay Nadrich, Crime 2 News.